Hello! I have so much to tell you! Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. It's time to spill my tea. Look, black tea! I get to have my tea time! Welcome to another edition of the Cynthia Beaumont Files. Generic tea time. Now, granted, folks, I love Lipton. Lipton makes a great product, but, you know, for a few dollars cheaper, you know, I like the Kroger, I like the Walmart, black tea. Black tea is black tea to me. You know, unless you start talking these herbal things or start moving things around just a little bit, I don't see the necessary to go with that. So, but that's just me. Everybody has their own opinion, their own likes. Um, I had a family member that she was never happy unless she bought the most expensive stuff. They figured that was the better product. The, the, you know, it's like, well, everybody's got an opinion. Tis the season of receiving monthly subscription boxes, shipping from, shopping from Amazon, and acting weird. But I'm broke, and I need things. Fa la 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 la. I gotta have some humor with this, with this thing of Beaumont files. It's been a, it's been a while since I've had one. Um, I'll be the first to admit I have not watched every Christmas video she's posted. I think she's like roaming these out, five or six videos a day, rolling them out. Well, I'm trying to be nice, you know, and um, I haven't get, but I I did kind of go over a few things um, on a high level um, to talk about. So let's get into it. Her last video, she made a comment stating that fifty percent of her views on her videos are from non-subscribers. She made a point to point that out based on the metrics she's receiving. And um, it has a lot to tell you about your viewership then. Because I would think the majority of your viewers are actually subscribers. So if 50% of your views is only coming from your subscribers, your benefactors... Where's the rest of your benefactors? Have you... They lost interest? And I don't know. It's just one of those things that pop in my head. Makes me go, hmm. Uh, I don't know. I got to think about that one. She also announced herself this week that she is a producer. What? Yeah, she produces her own videos. You know, she's a movie producer because she sets things up she props things up especially in the park to feed her squirrels I, you know it's their own everybody's got their opinion i mean in worst case you know i don't you could say that what we do put these videos together is like being a producer but i i don't consider myself a producer when I think of a producer, I'm thinking a movie. You're like a like what how a manager manages the store. They manage at different levels and goes across. I just don't see it. You know, I thought that was outrageous. But again, that's my opinion, and we're all entitled to it. She also made another interesting comment in one of her videos this week. Um, She's really over, already over with Christmas. And I can't blame her because she produced so many videos. And we're only on the 11th day of December. You know, she's creating these videos, you know, several videos on the same day. And then she issues them out like, dealing them out like playing cards. It's like, Really? Are you that desperate you have to put on these videos? And some of the videos I kind of spot check are lame. The same style. It's not like you're bringing anything new to the table. It's the same. Same on BS. Same on this. Same complaints about this. A lot of, all, eventually, all I hear is like from the Peanuts um, parents 
or teachers when they speak. Blah, 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 blah. I lose interest. I fall asleep. You know, I, I think a couple times in the last two weeks, I played one of her videos and fell asleep in bed. It made a good bedtime thing. So, e-begging. Her e-begging is list is out. You know, it's almost like the e-begging watch. I gotta watch to see what is she out. What does Cynthia really needs? Well, right now she's out of English muffins. Having a bitch can't have tea time without her English muffins and all the jellies and she's uh, come out with. You know, uh, scarves. She's got on her list that she's looking for a particular scarf. A uh, neighbor or a friend of hers made a certain type of homemade cookies, and but she prefers this brand name, or not brand name, uh, she prefers having nuts or macadamia nuts, you know, uh, macadamia, you know, she, whatever. She just not happy for the fact somebody decided to give her something, and she decided, I don't like it, but I prefer this. I wish life was that simple. You know, if I start acting like that with my friends, co-workers, I'll be sitting there like, Hello? Anybody there? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No, 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 I guess. And then I would, and she wouldn't even think of that. Oh, wait a minute. It, maybe it's my attitude why no one's listening to me. You know, makes you wonder since she hid her, her subscriber lists. Uh, off her channel, you know, whether they're going down, going up. I mean, I would think if there was going up, they she would display it and brag it. And you ought to be. If you're make, getting subscribers, it's like Trailer Trash Tammy. I'll go back and referencing her. She's not my favorite uh, YouTuber, but at times she does make me laugh, and I, she does make the little woman behind me laugh like crazy with her gags and stuff. And she probably shows 1.7 million, you know. Hey, got to be proud of that. But if you're ticking that off and you're thinking, I'm doing it because I'm going to hate all the haters, you know. Uh, she's got more conspiracy going through her head than the uh, Congress does. Um. Yeah, I really she does. I don't think she understands the difference between shared gifts and e-begging, of that things that she wants or needs. Um, to me, you know, she sounds sincere, but I don't think she's grateful for the stuff she gets. Especially if she's like, I don't want this, but I got it. What am I gonna do with it? I could, I'll use it to make up time on my videos. And believe me, she's not afraid to express her opinion. On anything or anyone. And I think eventually that's going to be her downfall. You know. Eventually. Month of December is a busy time. Because you've got holidays. Holidays. Families getting together. Or sort of with COVID-19. Uh, for us it's going to be a shrink down version. Um, not like what we normally do. But... Um, we're dealing with it. We're working on it based on the state of Ohio's uh, restrictions. I mean, we still have uh, vaccines are going out pretty soon. So I, I've got that listed here, too. But the month of December, you know, outside of that, it's it's birthday times. I mean, Cynthia's announced, you know, her birthday, I think, is next week. Either the 15th or the 16th. Uh, my youngest son, our youngest, <coughs> uh, Samuel's birthday is this month. And then I got my birthday this month, you know, and then you got the holidays mixed between. So December is a very busy month for us. You know, so a lot to do, a lot to see, people to avoid. And I say that as COVID 19, you know, got to. Just, just, 
having that six feet apart distance. I mean, Samuel, we normally have a, we go out to eat where Samuel wants to go for his birthday. I, I go out of my way to uh, make Samuel's birthday meaningful. Not say, oh, it's, we're going to mix this with Christmas. Samuel was born on the 17th. Mine is the 28th of December. And I always felt I got robbed for my Christmas. That's why Christmas is, was always depressing for me. Because knowing that, you know, it's like it wasn't a celebration of one's life. So I go out of my way to make sure Samuel, or I shouldn't say I, we, Melissa and I, Go out of our way to make sure that Samuel has a wonderful and memorable birthday. This year we can't. We decided that we're going to do some a family thing inside, but whatever he wants, you know, I'll get order to either order in, go get it, bring it in, or I'll cook something. You know, I don't mind. So we have that coming up. So. So it's interesting. Uh, we got something nice, something good to say about Cynthia. Well, we got the same month. Of, we got our birthdays fall on the same month. COVID nineteen shutdowns. It and I'm quoting Cynthia. It's not going to work. I don't know where she gets her information regarding shutdowns or vaccines. To me, she fits into the X Files conspiracy groups, and I love. Watching the X-Files, I'm not a conspiracy nut. It's interesting what their point of view are. Everybody's got a point of view. Uh, I kind of listen in and then look and really get legit facts from other media sources that are trustworthy, not the fake news sites, as uh, Donald Trump always says. Um... I, this, the, our, we're fortunate because the state of our Ohio, our governor has said that he is doing his best to put things in the place where he, there won't be a mandatory shutdown. Now, I don't know what the governor of New Jersey is going to do. Um, I think that he might, he or she might follow up what the, the city of New York is going to do. Uh, the governor of New York is going to do, you know, based on what the city of New York is issues, if they're rampant or going. Um, New Jersey is just going to follow along. They're, I mean, they're not going to put a fight over it. But um, the state of Ohio extended their curfew till sometime in January 2021, which means from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m., Unless you're out buying food. Now, it's kind of hard buying food when stores are closed by 10 because of the pandemic. But he's put it out there in case you have to buy food. So it's a gas station, uh, fast food, a restaurant. Or you are showing that you are going to work. Then it's okay to be out. If not, you could get pulled over and get a ticket. Mandatory masks are still in place, um, and I'll I'll get to that in a second. Um, vaccines for the state of Ohio, they're talking about next Thursday on the seventeenth of December. So uh, first thing groups that I've heard was healthcare workers, which uh, my sister in law would be very pleased because she's still waiting for that notification. Um, and then they're going to work on the um, age groups. I don't know if it was from 65 or older or 50 on over. Uh, they also want to cover uh, nursing homes, existing patients that's in the um, in there. Um, a senator said that, uh, and I'm sorry, I can't remember which senator said that... Um, if the state of Ohio vaccines for anyone and everyone from the age 50 on above, we would see the trending curves go down quite a bit. Now, my understanding from the vaccines, and again, this I'm getting these from the sources from like CNN, um, another couple of other 
news agencies. Um, the vaccine's going to be in two stages. You get one, and then you have to take another one in two weeks. Now, whether or not we have to do this in another year, I don't know, but this buys us time. So, as soon as it's available, my family can get it available, I'm rushing in. I'm not going to wait to see what the trends are. Um, also, um, my wife and I um, stopped attending church a while back, several months ago, because our church de uh, decided they were not going to force the, the masks, people wearing masks. So we tend to watch their services online, and they show people in there, and only like 1% is wearing masks. Everyone else is just groups. They're not even separated by six feet. They're in these groups. And it's like, oh my, why would you not support wearing a mask? Is it that hard? Is that, is that much of a hardship that the, you got to wear a mask? I don't think so. T tells me that you really don't care about how you feel with your your friends or your loved ones. Would you wear, would that same person that go to church wear a mask in a nursing home to see a loved one? You, I bet you you would. In order to see them, you would put a mask on. Are you putting a mask on and go to the grocery stores? Because I noticed Walmart and Kroger by us, they've got people in the entrance areas and they're like big huge signs with masks on the table. Here, you must wear a mask. Big, per the governor, you must wear them. Are you wearing them then? Are you, I hate to use the word, but hypocrite? You would wear a mask in a store to go grocery shopping, but you won't wear one at church? I don't understand that. Or is it that they don't wear masks? I don't know. I'm not following people in a, in a van going, eh. Oh, wait a minute. I got pictures. This look good for blackmailing. No, I'm not. That, just pure. I'm joking on that part, but it, I, I don't understand. And until the vaccine comes out and go through, I may not ever go back until I feel comfortable that I'm going to be safe among others like that. So, uh, Cynthia also mentioned one of her videos that she watched a some another YouTube video from a woman in India uh, joining an overcrowding train. Uh, and she was freaking out. I, I couldn't believe this. And it's like, New York has trains. I know Chicago has trains. You know, sometimes that's the only transportation. But this woman was celebrating a birthday. And she, in, on the train, it's crowded, you know, and whether they were ma wearing masks or not, I don't know. I wasn't watching. And that's the only form of their transportation. And she was, it was her birthday, and Cynthia went over the top of like, oh my gosh, please, what's going on with those people? She had a single spoon and she was passing out birthday cake to everyone that was there. Now who knows, the train card could have been rented out with all her friends and loved ones. You know, to cake out of, off on top of the spoon and here you go, and go to the corner and eat it. Who knows? I thought it was like, man, go out your, go outside and watch people go in the store and how they react. Go outside. And, you're in the park long enough. You know, you see how people react, whether or not they're wearing a mask or not. And, you know, if they're being crowded. But I thought it was too much over the top. You know, I, some people are going to say I'm nitpicking about it. I just think. Feelings with someone like that on a video and then not have the same feelings in other parts of your life when you're in the park, grocery store, a restaurant. It shouldn't make a difference, but for some people, yeah, okay. Um, 
she also recently talked about her court case about this particular uh, individual. Um, I also agree that she gave out too much information. Uh, she's not afraid to share her feelings about this individual and what she plans on doing with this individual as she feels confident that he's going to be conv convicted, going to be in jail. And what she plans on doing while he's in jail, talking about this person. I don't have any information about the case. It sounds like a misdemeanor, pay a fine, and boom, you're done, he's out. If the allegations were true. But if I was his defense lawyer, I would use those her own videos against her. Now, me saying that, she'd probably go, I'm going to take them off so they can't. But she's made her views about this individual public. And she doesn't care what other people think about her views. But she's going to court to talk to a judge. And how accurate is this? How accurate is that? I'm going to use this material. You know, lawyers are very smart, you know. They take someone like her, they could tear her her complete case apart against her. So uh, this is gonna fall into the category of oh my gosh. Excuse me. Um it's it's one of the Oh my gosh. Yeah, please don't say what she does. <laughs> No, never. A uh, Avon campaigns. She. It was nice that she decided I'm going to be an Avon lady. And I'm going to do this for fun, as she puts it, to go out, you know, and she doesn't want to go out. She's hoping to make sales off through her channel. But, and I said before... That's one part of it, but if you're going to make any serious money, you have to do more than that. You know, get out there, buy the books, turn around and try to make some sales. Um, Melissa was an Avon person, so I've kind of got some familiar with the idea. She doesn't do it anymore. I loved it. I sold it for a long time. But we didn't have, I mean, she, she went out. Talked to people, got some regulars who bought stuff on every month because she went out and talked to them about their needs or whatever. Then she went through them and said, hey, look, I know you've been interested in looking for this. I've been keeping an eye out for it, you know, and customers appreciate that. Cynthia found out she has secret goals she has to meet. Apparently, some group, I don't know, a district manager. See, when I have, a, I have a boss. My boss, you know, I have several bosses. I got the main boss. My other boss, my boss reports to him, and then I report to my boss. So it's like I could have multiple bosses for for the type of work I do. And the expectation is, for me, is besides customer service providing customer service, providing uh, IT services uh, to for the company I work for as well as the client that I'm representing for. Um, I have ex They have expectations. I have expectations of what needs to be done. And, that, and, and for me to complete those, I get a steady paycheck. I get a job. And... If I don't meet those expectations and I can't able to complete them on a regular basis, they're going to find somebody to replace me. And that goes for sales, IT management, uh, a clerk at a grocery store, at a cashier, you know, whatever, a cook. Um, we all have go They all have goals. When you take a job, you, there's goals, and you have to meet those goals in order to keep that. And benefit from them. Apparently, she got 
a team leader contacted her and says, look, I'm your team leader for Avon in this given area. Which I'm not surprised. I think Melissa I had one. No, it's, it's normal. I mean, they're basically there to like cheer you on so you can do your best. And a lot of times they would have incentives. Like they'd have parties at a hotel. Uh, they'd rent a room for a couple hours and they would do fun things like drawings and you know, if you reached a certain goal, she got you something special to commemorate it. I mean, they were meant to be, like, fun. And they're there to help you. Well, apparently this team leader told Cynthia that there is secret, there's goals that she has to meet. And Cynthia took it as, they are secret goals. Oh, my. They had a lot of nerve to tell me that I have I have goals. I have to be a, I'm an Avon salesperson. I'm doing this for fun. But I got to meet your goals each month or each campaign? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Her team leader wants her to, to, her sales for this particular campaign is $150. She's got to maintain. Now, the team leader, according to Cynthia, said, go out and get $150 worth of sales or spend $150. To meet the campaign, but you gotta meet them. And Cynthia is reluctant, right there. I can tell, based on her comments. You know, I'm here to do it. This is fun. I, it's, I'm supposed to be Avon. Supposed to be. I'm my own boss. You are your own boss, but we all report to someone else. Avon's giving you discounts on some of the products. In order to keep them, you gotta maintain your campaign goals. Why wouldn't that be anything else? I don't understand her attitude with that. And the uh, apparently the team leader wanted to talk to her about over the phone. And I don't know how they were talking through maybe a text or not text. Uh, online messaging, something like that. That Cynthia does not let her phone number out to anyone. And that includes her boss at Avon. And as Cynthia puts it, she said, I'm the boss. And Cynthia was annoyed with that comment. Now, if Cynthia spent the same amount of time and energy on her channel as a Avon salesperson, and that's what she is, a salesperson, she could make some decent money and still make it fun for her. But Cynthia is all about, I, I, what can you do for me lately? Give me the stuff, and, you know, and don't, without putting the effort into it. She does little as what she can to drain out, however you want to phrase it. She just, I don't know. If she's not willing to put in the work, to meet her campaign goals and if she treats her superiors within Avon I wouldn't be surprised it gets dropped so it's the way life is full circle uh, she spent quite a bit of time outside which is good glad to see her out of the house um, she kept feeding the, the squirrels in the park and the way her videos go, and some of it's quite funny, it's humorous and stuff. I mean, I thought it was a complete, uh, it was interesting how she was trying to feed them through a chopstick. It's like, okay, if you could train a squirrel. Um, I, I don't see her doing those type of antics with her cats, but... It is interesting, you know, you're going to get the, the two things that come to mind in my head. Granted, you know, I'm not the smartest cookie in the jar. The attack of the killer squirrels comes to mind. If you're constantly feeding them on a certain bench, they're going to come flying to you in packs. You know, squirrels somehow, squirrels know, they... If there's a single food source in a given area, they're going to hang out in that area. 
okay, your area allows you to feed them? Great. Uh, I hope you're cleaning up the mess. You know, the poop mess or the... If you're feeding the squirrels peanuts, are you breaking the shells and giving them the, just the peanuts to the squirrels? Or are you letting them eat the shells? Is that healthy for a squirrel? I don't know. What do you think? Is it healthy for... I, I don't know the... I don't either. About squirrels. I, didn't just, I just know they're cute and... So, but out of her last video I watched, or, uh, out of her, her mannerism and kind of makes me wonder, because she was like, oh, I, they were, she was having a good time with the squirrels, but she was regretting that she didn't have it on film. And, um, and she had to repeat it several times. And the question that popped in my head, would Cynthia continue to feed them on a regular basis if she was not able to film it? That question pops in my head. And I can't answer it, and I won't answer it. I mean, it, only she could. She might for a while, but then would she continue it? I don't know. Most people do things. I get the opinion she only does it so she have film footage. That's just my opinion. Don't hold me, you know, I, I can't speak for others, but that's the way I feel. With a lot of things she films is, I don't think she puts, she puts in thoughts into some films, and I think in other films it's like, I'll do whatever, I'll talk whatever, I'll drag things on just to have airtime. And after a while, for me, it just, it's a turn off. Cynthia also mentioned in one of her videos that she's, um, she has new life. But she didn't elaborate on it. She just continued with her regular stuff, blah, 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 blah. New life. I, I don't know what that means. Uh, what else do I have here? She also made a comment in one of her other videos, and I, I keep saying, repeating that, but uh, she feels like the Cynthia Beaumont haters, you know, is out to get her. And they're the reason she doesn't have a PlayStation 5. You know, and... News to the wise, we're all after ya. Or not. You know, you got bad, t you want a PlayStation 5, you want to spend the five, six hundred bucks to get it. So be it. You know, each of us got priorities where to spend our money on. But don't blame others because you don't have one. Or we're preventing you from having one. You know, <laughs> Do I want one? Who wouldn't? But I got other priorities to worry about. Other people to keep happy. Take care. Um, her surroundings. You know, here you can see this is my home office. Um, where I'm at. I mean, right across on my left shoulder is my work environment where I connect every morning into my client's network and I do my work. I work out of the house. Um, to the right of me, uh, as you can see Melissa in the recliner, but also the right of me is our Nintendo Switch to play games. Now, our watching TV and that, that's on the other side where you see Hello Kitty. That's our couch, and the other side's our, our TV. Um... Cynthia keeps mentioning that... Now, this is... I'm going out on a limb here, folks, and I expect negative feedback. She keeps referring to where she keeps losing things. She doesn't know where things are at. Uh, and she's done this on several videos. You know, man, I wish I knew where this was at or where I put this at. You know? Um, she mentioned, you know, 
She doesn't like folding clothes. Well, nobody likes folding clothes. It's something we all have to do. But she puts things down. She tries to be organized the best she can, but she puts things down. And you can see on her background, you know, at times it's pretty. It's pretty. She's got a nice layout. And at times on the her shelving unit, it looks like a cyclone hit it. But everything else, it's got its, you know, tables. It's got, it's all nice up. And then, you know, and I'm sure every household has it. But she buys all this little knickknacks. She's proud of that and all this, all this other stuff. And she's in that tiny apartment. Is she considered a hoarder? H-O-A-R-D-E-R, -E hoarder. Where she collects all this stuff, but doesn't want to organize and get rid of it. Because she talked about losing a back scratcher or something like that for 10 minutes. She can't find it. She doesn't know where she put it. But then she goes to the spot where it normally goes. And it was hung up and put away, and she found it. I don't know. I Borderline. I know I'm stretching. She also talked about that she was a, she, in her younger days, she was a, worked in a bagel shop. And she goes on stating how a customer wanted something and she thought, gross, how can you do that? And I hate to tell you this, you're an Avon sales lady. You, even if you work in a bagel shop. There's such thing as customer service. You're there to provide a service. You don't like... The customer's always right. You don't like what they're doing or what they put in their tea or coffee. None of your business. That's what they want. Let them have it. You know? For me, you'd be a lousy employee. I would fire you right on the spot. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. I, I mean, she briefly goes on for this for about 10 minutes and stuff. It, it was kind of ridiculous. She also talked about online shopping candles. How they got sold out in nine hours, but never mentions the company's name. And she could, That could be reason. And I, I was kind of curious which company she was talking about. Uh, it was Bed Bath & Beyond. Not Bed Bath & Beyond. It was um, Bath & Body Works. Bath and Body Works. Hmm. Where I believe that's what it was. But sold out in nine hours. You know, candles. I thought it was interesting, and I only mentioned this in passing because she mentioned someone gave her uh, a hint how to get what you want because things are going to be sold out very quickly, and then you end up with. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. Someone told her to go log on line approximately around 3 in the morning. And I treasure sleep, believe me or not. And I have to get up during the week at 5 a.m. I have to be at w online on these computers by 5 a.m. And going, I'm going to treasure my sleep. But to get what I want at 3 in the morning? No. she goes, You have to log on approximately around 3 in the morning. Place your order into your cart. And then sit there and wait until the sale starts, such as maybe it starts at 6, starts at 8, whatever. And then you start checking out. Some sites might allow you to do that. I do know that some other stores, you have a time limit. They have, the computer... Um, the computer, the way the computers, some of these computers uh, have these sales uh, kind of program, and this is almost starting to be a standard. Is you place your order, the system says, okay, it's temporary out of stock, meaning it took you wanted six candles, it takes six candles out of stock, and it's in pending, so no one else could take your six, and still have what's on hand. It just minus it out on one hand, but it's still impending. Some some of the sites you're going to start experiencing where it times out. You didn't check out. It sat there in idle 
for whatever reason, 15, 30 minutes, it'll clear it out and then you have to start all over. So if you waited till the sale started and then you wondered, huh, I have to go back and find the stuff and replace the items in my cart because I timed out. I like Ticketmaster is very good about that. You know, you place your tickets, you wait, and it tells you it's got a clock. You got this much time to complete. If not, it goes back in the pool. Because it wants to avoid that very thing. Now, I whether the, the stores, uh, Macy's, Bath and Beyond, whatever, it does that, it's a good chance. But... It just com is a computer engineer. That stuff come comes to my mind. She also mentioned that the store, her CVS stores, uh, was remodeling or something. I don't know. I mean, a lot of rambling going on regarding that about shelves being lowered. Well, I hate to tell you this. Um, I was a sales manager for Sears Roebuck for a scratch and dent store. And you have X number of product. The more blank shelves that you have that you can't fill, you don't want your customers to see that. Of course they're going to remove them. If they don't have product to put on it, why show an empty shelf? doesn't make your image of your store any attractive. You know, it's possibly that's what they remove. You know, she also mentions about CVS, Walmart, you know, they're, I don't know, she mentioned some kind of conspiracy theory about the vaccine. I don't know, I lost, I lost track. You know. She also mentioned that she got, uh, uh, because she, a company offered, she was going to have, she had an order and they told, the customer told her to, uh, would you mind if I gave you a coupon and you wait for your order for X number of days? Without reading the fine print and what's entailed, she says yes. And then she gets mad because when she received the gift card or coupon and it said you had X number of days to use it or it's going to expire. And she kind of didn't like that. She kind of blew up on that. It's like, a lot of your national gift cards and department store gift cards, you have to watch, re, always read that fine print. Because even if you go to the store and say, hey, I'm going to buy uh, this restaurant's gift card. Spend 50 bucks, I get a $75 gift card or something like that. Those things. They all got a fine print. You got next number of time to use them. Now, some of your uh, like grocery stores, and I haven't seen any of that happening but a lot of the other specialized because the think about it it's a long you you have a gift card to restaurant a let's say it's a hundred dollars they put an expiration down it because it's like a loan to them they have to account for that when you come in to their restaurant then eventually you're going to spend that money but eh um, do you have anything you want to add? No, I'm just listening. And okay. Making comments as, as um, I'm about to wrap this up. Um, we have, uh, I truly believe this is going to be Cynthia's actions, verbal actions, is eventually going to cause her own downfall. Uh, I really do. You know, I hate, I'm not wishing anybody's channel evil. I'm not out to get her. Uh, it's stuff that I watch and I notice. You know, it's like, huh. If I did some of the things that she did in a physical business outside of YouTube, I did the same things. One, I'm going to lose my customers. Two, I could be losing my job over it. You know, I don't, I don't know why anybody would do that, but that's this edition of the Cynthia Beaumont Files. 
We'll see you next time. Take care. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest context. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.